Yeah. Oh. Thank God. You can hear me now. Hello. Good that everyone is watching. Yeah, I'm always late. I saw someone say that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's busy times. Why can I not? Oh. I want to go to freaking game. Not working. I'm not seeing the game. Uh, okay, this is kind of strange. I can like do it like this. I'm using a new screen and I did not properly set it up yet. So that's what uh, what's happening now. But we can still check out Red Eye. We can still have fun here. We need Joyce on some videos. Well, you got Joyce last weekend. Okay, let's go uh, to England. Damn, it's been a while since I played this game. Full on into the horizon in the dying light. And now... Um, and now let's see what Red Eye has. And the Lunar Near Year pack is out as well. So that should be interesting. Oh, yeah. I was like, where, where's my weapon? There it is. Okay, Red Eye. Is it already uh, here? Yay! Okay, we're, we're gonna check that out. I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, I only have 900. Oh my god. I need more. Need more. Um, but yeah, let's check Reda first. Let's uh, see what he has. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them oh. my way. What do you have today? Okay, 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 okay. I think the helmet is awesome, but it's uh, it's all uh, old stuff. It's all old stuff. I want to check something real quick because I'm not like I'm now. Streaming via OBS. Mm. Ah. Just bought the pack. I love it, says Kenny. Okay, okay, Kenny. I think, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome to check out as well. I'm hyped for it. Can I try it one more time? on no okay we have to do it this way out of helix man yeah i know i have to uh, fix that but yeah I, I would give this uh, store selection and a very low score or not nah, nah, very low maybe that's a little too too crazy but two tattoos man it's all old stuff it's all old stuff it's not even... Yeah, I mean... Nah, it's not really good. It's all old stuff. I do like the... These hands, though, but... We can, of course, quickly show you everything. That's how we always do it. And then I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna get some... Uh, and what can I do for you on this Friday? Then we're gonna check the Lunar New Year pack. I'm actually kind of curious about it because it has some air stuff. Some wind. So well prepared, I... Even don't have the Twitch chat yet. Hello, Twitch chat. I didn't forget about you. Sir, it's a lot. Thanks a lot for your uh, for your support as always. Timaeus, Discardia is good to see you. Solid three out of five. Okay, you're on the five point scale. I'm on the ten stuck. point scale. I would give it a six. Six. This is everything they get from me. But yeah, we we do like the the sort of Sauron hat. I still haven't watched that Lord of the Rings trailer. I saw it. I, I was like, okay. I mean, I'm totally gonna watch the show, but... Okay, we got that one. Um, which is totally the highlight. But yeah, we already... We already had it a couple of times. It has been a while, though. So maybe if you, like, joined later, it might be nice to get it. Although, as we've seen... The last few days, it might be smart to just save Opal for when, like, truly awesome things join. And last year, the Gothic head was amazing, but now we're a year. We've seen we've seen other stuff. We're, we're kind of over it. 
At least I am. Maybe Ben is like watching and he loves his, his awesome gothic set. I do like these Draugr hands. They, they kind of never get old. Conrad, uh, thanks for the sub as well. I think they, they look kind of cool. They look kind of cool. I did it, James. You got it. Thanks for your sub, uh, rank one. Appreciate it a lot. That's very kind. Uh, and the Knight of the Round Table items were, or the, the hands as well. What have you got for me today? I think the Draugr hands are kind of wild. You I like, I the like them. It was kind of weird when the Draugr helmet released on Halloween in a random system uh, as like the daily item. That was like, s we had so much luck when that happened. Um, okay, Knight of the Round Table. That's always kind of hard, especially with these hands. Whoa, oh no. oh no, we got a hype train. Indignus 90. And by the way, if you're watching now, stick around because after this, we're gonna do a Horizon review discussion. So that should be fun. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, it's like. Yeah, there it is. Hey, we got it. I have to go. See CT, you soon. $5. Sport always is amazing during these streams. Even when nothing is going on. Where we're when we're still waiting for the dawn of Ragnarok. Let me know what you thought of the gameplay review, by the way. You of course saw my uh I think most I, I was actually surprised a lot of people really liked it. Like maybe not surprise is the right word, but I was uh it it was nice to see because uh we had some ups and downs, mostly downs, during the first year, I would argue. In terms of like, especially season pass content, paid DLC. So yeah, I would say the Draugr hands are cooler if you're into that. Um, now let's uh, grab my credit card and uh, swipe two gear sets. I, I really wished that um, the... This one was was what I what I first expect. It they're teasing us. It looks a lot. It doesn't look like a spear. It doesn't look like a spear. It looks a lot like the um, like the the Ed gear, the new weapon type from Dawn of Ragnarok. But no, it's a freaking spear. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. Oh, there's an update for Far Cry. Are they gonna launch the the wait the um, Stranger Things content. That, that might, be, uh, might be happening. Um, is there a permanent hood option? Not yet, poor loot. Have you ever watched The Lost Kingdom? Yeah, I did, Helheim. But I could not really get into it. I, I liked Fo Vikings way more. And I'm actually... There's not gonna be a new Viking show. Viking Valhalla. I saw that uh, the other day. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is... But it's gonna be impossible for me. Ah. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna do like this. Uh, I just need a small pack. I have nine. No, I need more. I need more. Okay. Because I can't see. I'm, I'm playing through OBS. Oh, this is so hard. That would be very early, I know, Timon, to already have the weapon now, but that would be like, I mean, maybe it's like a smart business decision for them to already have the new weapon type so people can try it out, so maybe more people would buy it. Okay. We're going, we're going to do something real strange. Eivor, I hope you can dance or something. Oh, well, maybe we're going to do it like this. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. This is possible. Do -do. Code, code, code. 
Hide your screen, yeah. And thanks for the nice t-shirts. Oh, you don't see it now. What? For the Horizon uh, stream that we're gonna do after this. Yeah, I can't hide my screen because uh, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. But we're getting there. I already have a solution. I already have a solution, I think. But yeah, that's, this is what happens when there are a million things going on. Okay, I'm back, I think. Okay, let's see if this worked. Let's see if this worked. Let's like reload the game or something. Where's my legend? Doo -doo. Okay, I hope this worked. The, you're like, what the heck? Did he call his uncle? No. Frost hair is the legendary spear of Labu. Okay. Frost fair. Uh, you guys gonna react to the CPR uh, announcement in 45 minutes? No, we will have the uh, Horizon stream around that time. Thanks a lot, Hakakuri Warrior. Um. And if I reboot the game. Hey, the wolf kissed. Yeah, the armor is bought with money. We hope, of course, that we get it through Reda at some point. Curious that a lot of people are asking about Cyberpunk. Yeah, we thought about it, but... We also have Horizon as the stream. And they announced it when, when we thought of the date. I also don't know if the, uh, if the Cyberpunk stream is going to be that good or, like, fun. Because it's like a red stream. I don't think it's like a... Um, a presentation. I think that I think we will just have talking heads, and then they will just talk about it. Donald Ragnarok, the lost DLC for Valhalla, right? I don't know, Ricky. I don't know. Anything good at Reddit today, Wolfkist? Sadly not. I would say I give it a six. We already looked at the the gothic hat from um, from that pack, and we saw um, the hands from the Knight of the Round Table set. Yay, it worked. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, he'll dress the new pack release. We're gonna check it out. Um, so, and these hands from the Knight of the Round Table and the hands from the Draugr set. They are a bit cooler. Hey, good to see you, Ben. Horizon on your menu, so jealous. A few more days. A few more days. Again, Can't wait for neighbor. everyone to, uh, to play it. Oh, my. My. Oh, it's a Yo Repto. Yo Repto. Yeah. Yo Repto. Yes. This is good. Oh. Okay, we're good. I think we're good to go now. I think we're good to go now. Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, grab it. Do 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 do. These items have like wind abilities where you um, where you can blast enemies away. I think it will be fun to kind of try that out. Did we get it? Or was I too impatient? Have they released any new weapons better than Mjolnir? Yeah, the gay bollock is totally better than Mjolnir. Okay, I, I have it now. Like, I'm gonna rock this. Red variant. I think that's gonna be amazing. Oh. Was that always on fire? The... I guess I never saw that. Whoa. I'm, I'm curious because we, we kind of see steampunk items now already at Red Am. And... Um, this is the weapon. Pushes... Gust of wind. The gust of wind that deals area damage, you don't see it. I'm gonna do it like this. 
Oh. That deals area damage and pushes enemies back on a heavy finisher. Okay, we're gonna do heavy finisher. So, let's make sure that we got some uh, speed runes going here. So, it will be fun to kind of look for high places. And, uh, yeah, we're going for categories that's easier. The mask looks so cool, I agree. It's, uh, it looks awesome. But yeah, we already see the steampunk items kind of at Reda now. Maybe hinting that that armor did not sell very well. Uh, and the reloads made like a good... Had a good theory about that. That usually items... And we, we saw that of course throughout the whole year. Usually items that just don't really sell a lot. They're gonna give that away. Like the mystic armor set. The Ululu hunter pack. We've seen that so many times already. Uh, while items packs that are like super successful. Like the shinobi... We, we didn't get the wolf. Oh, Sen Biker is back. With a hi Oh my god. Ten. Joyce, you have a sub. Joyce sneaking in the chat. You have a sub. Free sub. Enjoy it. Dragon Chrome. Oh, now we have a lot of uh, Odyssey sounds. I'm gonna let it hear here. Once. It's the 15th. Yeah, you're right. How could I forget? Hey, uh, Joyce. Joyce. Congrats with the sub. Okay, let's uh, kill some people, right? I do think, though, that... Um, that the health... Health and ranged resistance... I do think that the other armor is better. Oh, yeah, and we have a bow. The cotton. Oh. Damn, son. Okay, the glow is not, not part of the armor set. That's, of course, part of that weapon. Yeah. This is not a spear. I mean, it is. It, it functions as one. Does feel kind of weird, though. Does feel kind of weird. Always checking yours reaction is worth a thick talk. <laughs> I wish the clove effects were better. It's bad since Odyssey. Uh, Odyssey had some issues as well. Is the new Dying Light uh, 2 Authority Pack out? Two items from the set. So um, you can get it at the techlandgg.com. Let's see get the mount. I, I don't think the mount is going to be that like exciting. I'm still like happy that the disc mount was at Reda. My faith. Where, where are you, disc mount? There you are. Do you need it? I must. Oh, and we had a we had a, a, a new bird skin as well, which might actually be cool because the bird skin that we get uh, with the dragon pack is just gonna be sure you talk to very similar regular. to the dragon Ask skin. About we this land, well. my friend. Yeah, that's awesome. Get the bow. Yeah, uh, w what else can I say? And we have this. Just a uh, no hoot. Now, let me keep it on like in the cinematic trailer. Hey, Master Assassin. Hey, Mark. Thanks for becoming a Velociraptor member. I always have to get used to armor sets without the cape, but it is way cooler. But yeah, we're gonna do uh, the proper thing that uh, anyone should do. If they uh, end up getting the set. And that is... First we're gonna look at the other. Because of course right now you always get two sets. Oh wow. Okay. Okay let me know which one you prefer. This one. the Let's call it the white one. Or the red one. Okay. I first thought I was like red all the way. But it has like the red plume. Imagine a game, like a new Assassin's Creed game, where you can just get these, where, where just these armor sets are common. I would want to live in that world. It's actually a weapon from For Honor. Is that right? Did they, did they do that? Oh, they had like the, one of the, the DLC packs, right? I like the bird. Yeah, me too. 
Looks like something out goes to Shima or Sekiro for sure. The white one. Definitely not a fan of the gold. Oh yeah, I get it. It, it kind of looks out of place. This, this armor set has so much detail compared to Gunner over there. Gunner, old guy. Nothing against Gunner. He's helping me out. He does need 50 silver every time I want to transmog. But apart from that, I do like him. But you do get it. Oh. For all the 50 silver you got from me. Oh, I don't think I, I do. I think, I, I think he's immune. Oh no, he, never mind. For all the times. Oh, he has two. Ha. Huh. Worth it. But look, look. I don't know. It, it feels kind of out of place. This, it, like someone photoshopped this way too cool armor set into this Viking game. But it looks cool. Uh, okay, so. I am going. Because I was like, okay, red all the way, as always. But uh, to be fair, I might dig this one a bit more. Or at least, yeah, I might, actually. Okay, let's uh, get it, uh, get some opal, uh, do the things, right? Um, legend. And I want to thank Sand Biker again for that insane support. That's insane. I like the red hood on this. People like the white more. Yeah, the, the hood is also like very unique with like the sort of lines. What do you have today? Uh, no, you don't want to see your crappy you selection again, Reda. <laughs> I have requests that may or may not involve violence. Interested? Okay, we got two. We got two. I'm still curious when they are going to like talk about year two and what we should expect. Because... I, I, I also wanted to talk to Jose again uh, for an interview. Um, and I had all my questions prepared, of course, during chat sometimes here. People like ask questions as well. Again, this looks photoshopped. This doesn't look real. But I, I do kind of dig it. Um... So I had like a lot of questions, like uh, they said, uh, Dawn of Ragnarok is going to be the kickstart for year two. Okay, so what does that mean? What is the kickstart? Um, hey, Xblood Raven, what's your view on the pre-order armor and weapon when you get, when you buy Dawn of Ragnarok? Um, so we'll talk about my Jose stuff. Oh, whoa. Did you see the boom? Now you pay for oh, your sins. Yeah, we got some people. Okay, we have to look at the stats. Uh, um, Blood Drake, uh, I, I made a video on it. That's kind of a uh, uh, an easy answer. Hitting a target creates a gust of winds that push them back, but it's 15 second cooldown. Uh, uh, so we have the cooldown right now. Okay, let's, um, let's uh, wait them. Only hitting them, that's insane. I think the, the armor is awesome. Uh, uh, but you don't have to hurry because you have till April to get it. Okay, so we should push them away. Oh, and they're on the ground. Goodbye. Oh. And I can like push them away with this as well. Boom. See, we pushed the, the guy that we back there. And what was the armor perk? I think this is gonna be way more fun in uh, one of the camps. I have to do it like this, otherwise I can't. Getting hit while surrounded by more than two enemies. Okay. So we have to uh, make sure we get hit. There are. Oh, yeah, there it is. Whoa. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Is my audio, by the way, too loud? No, I'm not turning it down. You're welcome. Pure bribery. If people show up for the subs, good. I appreciate it, man. What's the uh, SS Creed soundtrack you like? Yeah, of course, the, the familiar ones. Ezio. But uh, to be fair, I like the... The uh, Odyssey menu music. Love it. So yeah, for the pre-order bonus, thanks again for the donation. I, I think it's good, but you, have to, you can wait. Until you don't have to like pre-order it. You can still buy it after uh, it's 
has come out on March 10th. I think it's really cool. It's a ton of fun. It has the uh, blizzard effect. It has the fire effect. Whoa, can we fight the daughter of Lyrian? Do they respawn? One can hope. One can hope. Maybe that's the grave robber. He's like, uh, he robbed the grave from the daughter. You're leaving the fight area. Oh, we, by the way, also have the mount. I haven't summoned him yet. Oh, no. This is, a, this is like the stream where everything goes wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, one more thing uh, about, the, uh, about the Twilight pack, Blood Raven. It's awesome. I think it's a pretty well done pack. You do have to remember, though, that the armor set, the look of it... We will get a similar looking armor in the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC. So, if you would just get it... Uh, no, never mind. Because if you would just get it for the look, you would... Either way, the look is not unique. Because it's based on an armor set in the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC. But without the eyes and fire. But I do think that that armor set has pretty sad and boring perks. So, in that sense, the Twilight Pack is actually kind of fun. But the mount is meh. The... Um... There it is. There it is. I was looking for you. It's like fine. You can see them add this to red at one point. Oh, it does seem to... Yeah, let, let's see if we can push them in the water. Or against the campfire. That's should be fine. Oh, there we go. I'm surrounded by idiots! Such a weird effect. Because the enemies are down on the ground. They won't get up. I can't even, like, get damage from enemies. So I think this, this is gonna turn out like a gimmick. This is gonna be like... Yeah, it, it's kind of cool here. We, we did do the... We feel like an airbender. But I don't know if it's any good. We have to look for high places. Oh. And I can, of course, do it like this as well. Like, the bow is kind of crazy because you only have to hit an enemy, and then... If I hit an enemy, then... That armor set looks sick, I agree. It looks insane. The, the perks are pretty... Cool. Oh. And I'm still kind of sad that it's a... Spear. There was a camp. I think I know where it is. Dennis always uses one camp for like uh, abilities where you have to kick someone from high places. <laughs> what are your expectations for AC Rift? Says X Explain. Um, see, cowboy. You're not Ronald, right? Or. Am I mistaken because of the same sort of uh, uh, icon? But appreciate your donations. This is the mount. We already took a look at it. Um, and let's switch it up again. Let, let's turn on for people who just joined. There's also a red variant. I'm still undecided which I like more. I might like this one more. I, I think it depends on the day. Um, but yeah, my, my thoughts on Rift is... I, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to believe. After the huge success of Valhalla and the success of the trilogy in general, that they would go back to a smaller game, more stealth focused. Like, I, I can see them do it, but I still find it kind of hard to believe. Um, but I think the reason why they're doing it is because they have no other choice. Like, that, that was kind of like the part of the uh, Jason article that I left out because I it did not really add a lot to uh, what the rumors are about what this next game is going to be. But it is still interesting. So the idea really is, is that because of um, the lack of like big games that Ubisoft has planned, like they got a ton of huge titles. The next is a screen like Infinity, the big one. They just started that last year. Um, quite a lot of you, or like quite a lot of people actually are leaving the studio as well. This happened over the last year and the past few years as well. 
So it seems that they're kind of having an issue where... And of course, COVID hit, which of course also a huge issue, especially I would imagine for Ubisoft that is like... Um, it has like multiple studios working on... This is so weird. On one, on one game. So yeah, I can imagine that if everyone works from home, which of course not really the case anymore, but during a lot of the development cycles, that is gonna hurt your, your schedule. So they're kind of in like, okay, but we still need to please investors. We still need to grow. How are we gonna do that? Hey, you guys worked on this Basim DLC for Valhalla for year two. Uh, let's turn that into its own game. And that's that seems kind of where where the DLC or where this next game is coming from. I also think, and that was also a rumor for Dawn of Ragnarok, and that's why I personally think the. Okay, let's see if we can like swim. Hey, Galap, thanks for the for the support there as well. Follow us, member, appreciate it. Um, that's why I also think that uh, Dawn of Ragnarok, while forty dollars doesn't have the content that I personally would, especially looking at, we, we just named uh, Ghost of Tsushima, right? That DLC launching for 20 bucks had so much content and I really think that if we compare that DLC with Dawn of Ragnarok, that it might actually be quite similar in terms of amount of content. Maybe Dawn will, of course, Dawn should be bigger. But I'm, like, still not convinced that $40 was, like, two-thirds of the full Valhalla game. Uh, if that's, like, the, a good price. On the other hand, the DLCs, Siege of Paris and Rev were $25. And they totally had less content than Ghost of Tsushima, the Iki Island DLC. So, um, it's, yeah, they're, they're kind of asking more for it. But I also feel that, and that was a rumor... That Sophia was first working on a smaller game, likely to also launch um, in between Valhalla and uh, and Infinity, but that turned into Dawn of Ragnarok. So I totally think that they did not have maybe as much time to work on the DLC. There are just weird things, like the new weapon type not having new finishers. It's just so weird to me. Send biker, people leaving to Ubisoft work environment or disagreement with studio's direction? I think it's both. The work environment, of course, really became clear in 2020, which has been going on for a long time. But also, and you can like say a lot about Activision, but it seems that they are taking at least more steps to improve it versus Ubisoft. While they are obviously, it's still not amazing or anything. <laughs> And now with Microsoft coming in, that's of course hopefully going to change a lot. It's not even like apart if you're like on high places, it's it's maybe good. But apart from that, it's like why would you wanna push enemies away? Maybe for the stomp ability? Boom. And it seems that the enemy that I'm hitting. Oh see, yeah, that that one gets pushed as well. I don't know. It's a cool one. I don't know. So yeah, a lot of issues. And to be fair, like you're you're also kind of whoa. That, that was that was kind of. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird because on one end I'm like yeah, they they Ubisoft did make some great stuff. I think still the Bloodline DLC for Watch Dogs was amazing. <laughs> like that was really cool. And I think. Like, just the main campaign for Far Cry 6 was kind of cool as well. Um, but then you see things like that Ghost Recon game, that Breakpoint and how they're they're doing the NFTs and all that stuff. And how, like, everyone inside the studio and they're not happy with it. And still, the uh, small amount of money and the small potential that they can make a lot of money later on is more worth to them than maybe maintaining a, a good work environment with developers that are happy to be working at your studio. That's just crazy. So yeah, it's a, it's a lot of things, but I'm also kind of happy that we're now able to 
uh, that, that, that there are now like a lot of other games coming out. And I really think that Ubisoft also has to step it up this next generation. Um, because you got an Horizon and it's so wild if you think about it that that studio, sure they had a lot of people working on the game, but on Valhalla, way more people were working on Valhalla. And I would argue like the new Horizon, I, I, I my review is up, the amount of polish and just like every encounter is fought about like every random note on the map they they fought about it it's not like another bar door or another like ubisoft they were first like kind of key king in their open world genre and in in what they did but now smaller teams like soccer punch is relatively small and, and uh gorilla who's now making a second open world game that is like in terms of quality like there are different games but in terms of quality horizon is clearly on another level in my opinion than uh Valhalla. so i really think they have to also like step it up in a way and i'm curious wh how that will what that will look like yeah time and i agree the nft uh, uh leaked internal document wasn't wasn't great for sure so yeah i'm curious and then you see like the dlc for valhalla right that is also not like on the same level as origins and odyssey's dlc um i'm like kind of hopeful with quebec though uh the odyssey team i, I thought the crossover stuff was great and immortals was awesome like they 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 still montreal really seems kind of lost montreal also with rainbow six extraction like a fun game i guess some people liked it but that's like not good enough anymore that's like not you saw it like it charted number nine in the in the mpd a rainbow six game based on one of the most popular online games Number nine, NFT, uh, yeah, NFT, yeah. <laughs> so many N's, no, MP. I have to look at the time though, because I I'm like kind of talking here, but we have a Horizon review discussion to make. I think people in the chat are already, maybe Joyce and Denzel are like, what the heck is he talking about? But uh, we're gonna end the stream. I hope you had a good one. Let's not end on a, on a downer, but uh, appreciate all your support. Like, I think, we go through good and bad times. And I think for Hola, like Assassin's Creed in general, I would argue it's not in the, in, in a bad spot compared to Ghost Recon, Watch Dogs, Far Cry in a way. Like Far Cry 6 was great, but it's also like, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm excited for the Assassin's Creed future. I think they got cool things coming. Um, but yeah, overall, and I'm still, I really think that Ubisoft Massive, like that is working, that the Division team that's now working on Avatar and Star Wars. I think they're gonna save Ubisoft the next generation. But a lot going on. Hopefully you're sticking around because we got a Horizon. Um, yeah, and thanks for the donations, everyone. Ah, we got we gotta go because we have an Horizon. Uh, but you can just stick around if you're on YouTube. Uh, maybe time and can you like share a link to the YouTube chat? Yeah, thanks a lot, Ben. Already doing it. So we will be going off. If you're on Twitch, sit back. We're going to do the Horizon uh, review. If you're on YouTube, click that link if you want to know more about Horizon.